This symbol is the mandala. Mandala means circle in Sanskrit. The mandala is a circle that is often squared and or contains four quadrants. It has a center point or center circle. As you can see here, it can be found in a multitude of cultural contexts all throughout history. This symbol represents the most transformative archetype one can encounter. This is the archetype of wholeness. Jung concluded that the unconscious isn't just some mysterious aspect of our psyche. The unconscious seems to be an essential part of an alchemical process that we can all participate in. If we can become aware of the archetypes, we can create a relationship with them. And eventually, we can realize that there is an unity underlying all the experiences throughout our lives. This unity is called the self. The mandala, the most ubiquitous symbol of mankind, is a naturally occurring image of the self. This image of the self appears in our psyche and in the physical world. Note that the term the self is used in various traditions and it doesn't always quite mean the same thing. The self I'm referring to here, young self, is quite like the self that many Hindu sages describe. For example, Ramana Maharshi said, the self cannot be found in books, you have to find it for yourself, in yourself. I personally experienced this. The mandala, the symbol of the self, appeared in my psyche and then in the physical world. And it brought me to an understanding of the Unus Mundus. I hadn't heard of Pauli and Jung's collaboration before. I didn't know anything about the Unus Mundus until that day. The mandala isn't just a psychological symbol. It isn't just artistic and it isn't just a religious symbol. It's also been essential to our success in manipulating the physical world. The mandala has played a critical role in material science. Our basic models of the structure of the atom are mandalas. There's also the story of Albert Einstein's Riemann sphere breakthrough. Einstein was suffering through extreme exasperation attempting to solve a problem. He was at his wit's end and wrote to a friend that if he didn't get help on this problem, he'd go crazy. His friend told Einstein to look at the Riemann sphere. The Riemann sphere is a three-dimensional mathematical mandala created by Bernard Riemann in the mid-19th century. Something in Einstein clicked when he read Riemann's lectures on the sphere. The mathematical sphere greatly affected Einstein and provided a catalyst for his work. Einstein used the sphere to develop his theory of general relativity. In physicist Michio Kaku's words, Einstein's reinterpretation of Riemann's famous 1854 lecture is now called general relativity and Einstein's field equations rank among the most profound ideas in scientific history. Circuit 7 is the heart of 8 circuit yoga. This is where the dead robotic world around us becomes alive in unexpected ways. And it is the circuit where you can root the personality in something deeper than the status quo. But as I said before, there aren't any shortcuts to a full circuit 7 activation. You've got to go deep within into the realm of the archetypes.